so our stomachs mix and churn our food before releasing it into the small bowel. As I've mentioned, we have altered motility in the stomach, so we get food staying in our stomachs for longer. We call this a delayed gastric emptying. It can lead to us having symptoms of nausea and vomiting, feeling a full, even after a small meal or a long time after a meal, and indigestion is that discomfort. We can do tests to look at the stomach. We can put cameras down inside to see, checking for any inflammation or damage or any other problems. We also know that stomachs can be affected by a condition called GAVE. GAVE is a condition where the blood supply in the stomach is abnormal. We'll hear a little bit more about that later on. We can test to see how the stomach empties using gastric emptying tests. We can do that in a variety of ways, but essentially it's involving giving you something labelled to eat and watching the rate at which it passes out. Again, our management options are limited. We talk about the same lifestyle measures, the same prokinetics and acid suppressants. If you do have GAVE, we know that that can bleed, so you may need blood transfusions and we try and burn it. That's called argon plasma coagulation and involves camera tests going down.